I have a really good explanation why this battery is in my fridge. Because this is a lithium iron phosphate battery with a smart BMS that has lots of data and is self-heating. So that's why it was in my fridge because I wanted to test out the self-heating part. And yes, it uses the power inside the battery to keep itself warm. So this is perfect for people that have like cabins up in the mountains where it's really, really cold. And the solar panels charge it throughout the day. And then at night when it gets really, really cold, it protects itself. Those are the people that this battery is built for. In this video, I'm gonna test out the full capacity of this battery, how much it can charge, how much it can discharge, also how much power the BMS can handle. Like what is the maximum bursts? Two days of testing for this battery because I had to charge it and discharge it and try all the features and functions and put it in my fridge and let it sit for 12 hours to cool off properly and do its warming. The app, it's also amazing because I'm gonna put it here on the side. You could see it has all the functions you want. You could see the cell status, so you could see how unbalanced the cells are. So that means that this one has a really, really good balancing board in it. Gives you that peace of mind that the battery is gonna be balanced all the time. Also gives you information as far as the uh, temperature goes. So under maximum load, it barely reached like 35 degrees. Also went from 100% to 0% with no complaints whatsoever. And the cell, you could clearly see that they only went from like a 3.6 to 2.9 volts. So the BMS does its job to stop them when they are getting too low. I love the app. I love the price. I love the self heating function, especially if you have a cabin or a van where it could get cold overnight. So what is the maximum power that this BMS can handle? I have a 2000 watt. This is a 2000 watt inverter. We're gonna max it out right now to see what this one can handle. If I pull 2000 watts out of here, that will be about 160 amps. Let's see for how long it can maintain it. This is good for when you have a load that requires a lot of power in the beginning, so the BMS holds on for a little bit before it cuts off to protect the cell. That's a must have feature on these batteries because if it cuts off as soon as you pass 100 amps, which is rated, then you could only get about 1100 to 1200 watts out of it and therefore certain things will not run. So we're gonna turn the heater on. So I just turned that heater on and uh, we are already pulling 1192 watts, right? So we are already pulling exactly 100 amps out of this battery right now. I'm gonna add another 700. So this is gonna add another 700, it's gonna go to 1800. Let's see how long it lasts. 1796. And there it is. So right now, the BMS on the battery just cut off. So it lasted for about seven or eight seconds, and then it cuts off. That's to protect the cells. There it is, it just came back on. And that's a safety feature that is built into the battery to protect the BMS, to protect the cells. We're gonna run a next test. It's gonna be how much power there is in here at a thousand watts constant pool. So here's the setup. Veteran battery testing out with a 2000 watt inverter. There's gonna be about 5% losses over here. It's gonna go through a watt meter and it's gonna go into a battery backup that it's at 1% right now. So we're gonna transfer 1280 watts over here at 10% losses in the system to this 1440 watt hour battery. It's gonna pull a constant 1000 watts from here to there. Power on, this is gonna start charging and we're good to go. The test bench is set up. The camera is gonna be recording. It's already pushing 976 watts. I've sped up the video over here to over a hundred times. So one hour basically happens in 30 seconds. And this is how far the battery was able to be charged. And I put the sensor here on the side. You could see it pushed 1.2 kilowatts or 1200 watts worth of power through this um, Emporia sensor. So obviously there are like some losses in the system, about 5%. It does have at least 1280 watt hours in it. These are really, really good cells and it's not hot at all. So this 1280 battery through 5% losses and another 5% losses were able to bring this battery, which is 1440, to 72% from zero, from completely dead to 72%. That is pretty good. These batteries are quite affordable and this one has extra features. Check out the price point that they are selling them for.
And now with all the testing done, it's gonna find a very, very special place here with the solar system at my house. This is the power wall that I have in my house, which is gonna become a 25 kilowatt hour power wall at one point. And this is the final addition. I've tested it, it can handle the power, charge, discharge, it has very, very good capacity in line with other batteries out there. The BMS features, the smart features, are gonna make my power wall also smarter because I'll be able to see the status of my battery via Bluetooth app, which is absolutely amazing. And because of the extra bells and whistles like the self-heating, I know that in wintertime, it's never gonna complain. I hope